All right, I am here to educate you about MLM companies, direct sales, network marketing, whatever you want to call it, and I'm here to tell you why they are not pyramid schemes. So the biggest thing and the biggest question I often get asked when I tell people what I do, they're like, oh yeah, it's like, kind of like a pyramid scheme. No, it's not because pyramid schemes, number one, are illegal. So the first thing that we need to know about that is that they were they were created in like the early 70s and the way you got into a pyramid scheme is you like gave money and then like everyone bought in and only the top person really made any money. So they gave, they kind of just always bought in. The biggest thing that you need to remember about that is that most of these pyramid schemes are like they didn't have products. There was no products being sold in a pyramid scheme. It was just people that were paying in money and then the top person was earning everything. That's what they were. So it's really important that people are educated educated on that. So the Government Trade Commission, so MLM companies and multi-level marketing, so it's multi-level marketing, direct sales, network marketing, however you want to call it, they're watched by the government. Do you think that all these people would be allowed to be working these jobs and the government had no idea what was going on? So they are very closely mandated by the Government Trade Commission and people are, you know, it's a legal job. They can't have these companies running all over the place. Everybody knows you work for them if they were illegal. So keep that in mind when you're thinking about joining an MLM company. It is not a pyramid scheme. Um, the other thing to remember, so when you're like this video is about whether or not MLM or multi-level marketing is a right choice for you. So marketing needs to be products coming and it really it's different than selling. So like we're the way to explain this is like we're no different like people that do MLM are no different than if you get a job at the mall selling products you're a car salesman you, those companies hire you on and to sell their product that's what they do so multi-level marketing really there's no difference in what I do than what someone at a store does because they the company hires me on I get paid commissions based on my sales so it's the exact same thing if you're working in a sales type retail job but the big difference is with multi-level marketing is that you have a team where you also can bring on people who love what the product is and what to do and they build their own teams and then the, there is commissions paid out on um, you know on your team sales as well uh, depending on the level so it's a great opportunity really it's not a negative thing it's an amazing thing because like you can't really go in and be a car salesman and then you don't make money off of like other people that you brought on that sell other cars you could be a manager at a place like that but you can't really progress and make more money than the commission that the company is offering but with MLM you can um, so the things that you want to think about when you are thinking about multi-level marketing, the people that do really well at this are not necessarily people that are like desperately trying to find a job and only stay at home moms. A lot of people are full-time workers like myself who, you know, saw an opportunity to earn a little bit of extra money and went for it. So, you know, you can be a full-time worker. So maybe you have a job that's like not the most secure. Maybe, you know, there's a lot of layoffs. I know in like the high tech industry here in um, where I am, there's a lot of people that work high tech and it's not the most secure job. So it's really nice to be able to have a secure um, second job that you are bringing in income where you know you have extra spending money if you want to like buy something or you want to um, you know take your family on a vacation or do those sort of things you have extra income that's all this really is and it's so nice because most of these companies are all from your smartphone online and you work when you can you make your own hours you have your your own boss you get to work when you want and that's the big thing with this and a lot of people find that ideal um, so one of the things that, uh, so with MLM is the best thing, it's for busy people, it's for successful people, it's for stay at home moms, it is for everybody who really wants this to work out. It's a gift, okay? So if you have a business mindset, tell, if you wanted to start a business on your own, like you created a product and you went out there and you tried to make money with this creation because you're a creative person, it's really hard and it's really expensive to start up your own business. But with MLM, like the products are already made for you. Everything is already done for you. So you don't have that big risk factor of, you know, I'm not going to make money in my first five years. And you don't have to stress about doing all the extra things. You're just the distributor for a company that you love. You have to find, and that goes into, um, you know, 
having the two reasons, the two things that you need to think about when you are deciding if MLM is right for you. So the number one thing is you must love the products. Like you have to have a passion for whatever you're selling, whether that's jewelry or candles or wraps or hair products or makeup or beauty or whatever it is, you need to be passionate about it or it won't work because how are you going to sell to people that you're not passionate about and with products you don't back? Um, if you have never done this before, do your research. So in MLM, you have something called an upline. And what an upline is, is like someone who helps and trains you. So when you start a business, you don't have an upline. You don't have someone that's telling you ideas and giving you advice. You're just doing it. Like you hopefully have like a good financial advisor that's going to help you, but like you don't have an upline. So before you join a company, make sure you do your research on your upline. Is it someone that you see that, you know, can give you advice and looks like they've got their act together and looks like they're doing well and looks like they have a lot of valid information to share with you about the business and then make your decision but don't just join anybody because you want to know that they have an upline and I'm not saying it doesn't matter if you're a top level earner in your company or not you do not have to be a top level earner to be a good leader the point of it is is make sure that that person has a good upline so that you know even if they've just started out it doesn't matter you can learn together but make sure that the person you're learning from their upline is going to be someone that you know is going to give you lots of information and to be honest most companies out there I haven't seen any like I have a lot of direct sales friends on here um, there's not really any that I see that have nothing but amazing uplines and remember if you are joining a company or you're hearing someone talk negatively about a company in terms of oh well you make no money with that business or you uh, the upline you like you're gonna get no help that's not true about any company what that means is that that person who is talking negatively about the company, they did not do well with the company. So they are stressed out about it and they're they're saying, you know, there's no money to be made. My upline didn't help me. They're making excuses for their own work ethic and the own things they did with that business. Every company, unless, like the company wouldn't be open if there weren't people earning money and if there weren't people at the top. So really it's just an excuse. So don't believe that. And that's not a type of person you'd want to join anyways. If Even if they've gone from one company to another you don't want to join someone who is not you know had an open heart about things and is fully able to back so if they're not passionate anymore totally different if they're not passionate about the products anymore and they want to go to a new company that's totally fine and that's the options you have with this type of business you don't have to stick to one company but if you find a company that you love the you love the products you love the people that's all that really matters um so it's not an immediate payout and I think people need to understand this is that you're not going to join an MLM company and like in the first week be like a multimillionaire. That's not how this works. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of learning and educating yourself. So it's not an instant payout, but it is a gratifying one when it happens. So like some people make tons of money in the first couple months, some make money in the first couple of years. Just depends on how hard you go at it at the beginning and how much you learn and how much you educate yourself on how to do this. And what and having a good upline is always helpful to help train you. Um, so find someone who does a business well and like look at their training. Is it the style for you? So that's also really important too. Like I have a lot of girls on my team like I do things one way and they do things their own way and it works. It doesn't matter. You run your business how you want to run your business and I tell them that all the time. What works for me might not work for you so you want to go and find something that does work for you and YouTube and all these like social media outlets have so many different ideas that you might find something that works for you for your business that maybe your upline does a bit differently. It doesn't matter. Your upline's never going to be mad about that as long as you're happy and you're meeting success. That's all we want for all of the people on our team. Um, so lots of people give this type of business a really bad rap too. So like MLM does not have a good, like I know when I joined, I had a very closed mind about it. MLM does not give the right kind of, there's people that give it a bad rap and the people that give it a bad rap are the ones that'll like blast your inbox. Like, Hey Jen, haven't talked to you in a while. Have you heard about the new beach body opportunity? Like that is not something that you want to lead with. Like I'm not going to go and blast somebody's inbox about that. You want to build relationships in this business and you know most of the people that have come on to my team have not been people I talked to that day. Some do. Some are really easy and like they want to join right away. They love the products already. Whatever. But some it takes like six months. Some it took two years before they're like oh you know what she's like she seems to be doing pretty well. She seems like she's got her stuff together. Maybe she'll really be a big help to me. 
I'm going to try it out. So it's not, and then that person who joins, you know, like if I'm two and a half years into my business, which I am, my results are going to be a bit better than someone who joined the day, like the last week. But the nice thing about these types of businesses is that you can go far and you can do it fast, but it's a lot of work. Or you can take it at your own pace and slowly build up. And, you know, most businesses make no money in the first five years. In a company like an MLM company, you can make money in your first year and good money in your first year if you really push it and really try. Um, so I love learning about people and I love serving people. And that is what this company is all about, is helping and loving and serving and teaching. And my passion is teaching already. So it's like, it was kind of like a no brainer for me. So it doesn't mean that because I had a whole other profession, I couldn't be good at this. So kind of believe in yourself and know that that's what you need to do. Um, so when you're looking, um, the biggest thing with this business and as well, like if you're looking like, okay, maybe MLM is for me personal development. This is something that I have been pushing since day one and I do so much of. Personal development, I feel like you can never get enough of. Like the more personal development you do, the better you're going to be at doing things in this business. So being able to like, um, like study and learn and just really get to know things is the most important part. So reading books, listening to audiobooks, listening to podcasts, like watching videos. This is what has helped my business more than anything. It has nothing to do with the product. It had nothing to do with my downline or upline or whatever. It had to do with my own personal development. So whenever, it doesn't matter what company you think about joining, just remember that personal development is key to this industry. And it's such a good thing for your life overall. Um, so leading with the product also like just watch when you do that so if you're leading with the product like as soon as you join the mlm company i see a lot of girls like posting all sorts of graphics they're not even in the pictures of like their company products nobody wants to see that nobody comes on facebook to shop that's not what we're coming on here to do we're coming on here to learn something to have fun to look at pictures maybe creep people out i don't know what you're doing but you're coming on facebook for to be entertained so when you see graphics of like the same thing over and over and over and over and over again with like out the person even in the pictures, that's not what people are coming on Facebook for. So if you're in an MLM company, make sure you start off right. Start off, people need to know you as a person before they're going to even think about your products because they don't buy the products because of the products for the most part. They buy the products because of the person and who that person is. Are they positive? Are they constantly like, you know, putting out like positive vibes and never putting negative things on their wall and never putting any negativity out there that's going to engage in all the other negative people on their Facebook? Or are they putting out that sort of idea? Like, is that someone that you really want to buy products from who's like pumping out negativity all the time. That is not helpful for your business. And I really encourage my girls and my team to not put out on anything negative on Facebook. If you're having a bad day, call a friend. Okay. Don't put it on Facebook because people want to come on here and be entertained in a positive way. Um, so the, in conclusion, where else in the world can you start a business? Most of them are under a thousand. Like my own company, it's like $119 to get a business. Like that is nothing. Plus you're getting product, which is a better discount than what I can get. And you're getting a whole new life from that, that opportunity and do your research on the companies. Cause a lot of them have like hidden fees. Like I'm proud to say I work for a company where like literally you can buy the starter kit and never again, do you have to do anything? Um, so a lot of them have website fees, do your research. A lot of them have auto ships, do your research. Cause people auto ships means that like, when somebody orders something from you, it just continuously ships some stuff and you'll have to deal with like, if you're not upfront and honest with people about that, then they might get upset that they're being shipped, you know, another product that they didn't maybe love in the first place. And then they had no choice, but it's on their credit card. So do your research. Like if you don't somebody that like, I wasn't someone that wanted auto ships or like any other fees. Cause if this didn't work out that I didn't want it to be something I was paying for or losing money, then it wasn't, it was like the perfect opportunity for me. So do your research before joining any MLM company and that's it so do some research find people that you can like relate to and you know we're gonna help you and you know are gonna be the best possible option for you thank you so much for watching and share this if you are an MLM or if you're in direct sales and you just kind of want to educate people and you're new this is a great opportunity to share this video and get people really um, involved and educated on what this business is all about thanks again I hope you enjoyed that